all the units operating here in the Arctic region, they need to be very, very robust to cope with this uh, harsh environment. This is just prevent any aid from the outside. You need to bring everything yourself. Climate change is causing the world's ice caps to melt at an alarming rate. As this ancient landscape forever changes, what does the future hold for security of the region known as the High North? The geo gap Greenland, Iceland and UK is, is uh, hugely important for NATO. Uh, uh, it's what uh, ties the, the transatlantic uh, bonds together. That's uh, the way we, uh, we would get the reinforcement from, the, from North America in a conflict scenario in Europe. Thanks very much. There we go. Right now we are coming alongside the HTMS Triton here and they're going to winch us up onto the ship. Grab those. Can you give us some idea of just the vastness of this area? It's, it's extreme distances, so you need to think ahead about uh, the ship's performance, about the crew skills and about logistics. We start to feel a growing interest from other navies that uh, also wish to explore the northern region. And of course we want to keep the sovereignty and protect the interests of Denmark and uh, also our allies up here. Therefore, we are very pleased to share our knowledge with uh, others and especially... I mean, it's the sea level that's changing and it's the amount of ice that is changing. Let's take an example here in the Bay of Disco where we are now. People uh, on the shore side, they used to visit the island Disco uh, and they could go there by uh, food. But they haven't been able to do that for a very long time because the temperature is increasing. So it is very very uh, easy to see the the changes in the in the of the climate Men I skal have de her to tampe, der stikker ud, og dem skal I skære af. Okay. Okay. Så sidder det over en kordel og under en kordel. Sætter den ind. Hele vejen ind. Så sidder den ud. Ja, jeg sætter den ikke andet med. Jo. Skal jeg have den? Ja, det er rigtigt. Jeg har det rigtigt. Ja. Fantastisk. Thank you very much. Jeg har det rigtigt. Til højre. Prøv at se, jeg ligger den sådan oven. 
Og så har du kørt igennem. So this is the ice spice, is that right? Yeah. And how is my ice spice? It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's really, uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, and it's the first time you've done it. To be fair, I didn't do most of it, really. <laughs> yeah. uh, I saw I you got of, some help, yeah. I did have a lot of help. Um, yeah. You're in such a small, limited space for such a long period of time. Mm. But does everybody get on? Is there a big camaraderie? How does it work? But usually it's like a big family. It's like working with your family. So, because when we're off from work, we're still here. We, it's like 24 hours a day. <laughs> Never ends. Is this your first time to Greenland or have you done? No, work? I've done it. Uh, multiple times. We learned to have a lot of respect uh, because the North Atlantic Ocean is one of the harshest uh, oceans in the world. We really do have uh, respect for the waters up here. As the ice melts, it creates the opportunity for new shipping routes and with it potential risks and threats to Euro-Atlantic security. Our area of responsibility will be more used by, by the whole world. Trade, the ships, uh, by uh, research, by uh, tourism. So, so there will be more people in our area and that of course uh, uh, gives us a challenge both in the surveillance part but also in the search and rescue part. Uh, we need to be uh, capable to handle that. So there will be challenges. Finn, very nice to meet you. Thanks so much for having us. Really We're here, thunderstorm, going out through the fjords, up along the coastline, inspecting for the ships, uh, in around uh, counterclockwise around uh, Disco uh, Island. And when we're done with the inspection, we go back home. So when you say we're inspecting for ships, what are, what are, we, what are you looking for exactly? Uh, we have a general idea of what's uh, out there today, and uh, we're just going out and uh, see if everything is like it should be. And uh, the the ships there, the fishing ships, I see uh, if they have the uh, permissions to be there. And uh, just making sure that they are that they are what they are and uh, where they are and do what they were supposed to do. Yeah. So essentially you're creating a kind of maritime picture from yeah. the sky. So guys, right now we are obviously flying over Greenland. Can you give me a little bit of an idea about what you're doing? Right at the moment, I'm using the radar to look for uh, targets on the, on the surface and try to correlate them with uh, what info we have on the, the ships that are in the area. And then we need to go uh, visually ID each ship, all the fishing ships, the passenger vessels, the merchant ships. We have to uh, have a positive visual ID on them. We take some, some frame grabs of it and they're sent down to the Arctic Command so everybody's sure that the ships are who they say they are and that they're allowed to be there. As the ice caps melt, regions like this one could become more accessible 
to a larger number of ships. And if that happens, then the role of aircraft like this one and the surveillance that they do becomes ever more important.